I felt like 2018 was a year where we were constantly talking about airlines failing, and I hope that 2019 would be a better year for the airline industry. Unfortunately, only 6 weeks into 2019, we have our first casualty, with Fly BMI seizing all operations and the airline filing for administration. Now, Fly BMI is a British regional carrier and it's an offshoot of BMI International, which was taken over by IAG in 2012. They operated 17 planes and the carrier was founded all the way back in 1987. The airline has a total of 376 employees across the UK, Germany, Sweden and Belgium. Originally named Business Air, the airline was purchased by British Midland in 1998. It was eventually rebranded as BMI Regional in 2001 before transitioning to fly BMI in 2017. The airline only operated Embraer jets consisting of 3 E-135s and 14 E-145s. The planes were being used to fly to 25 different destinations within Europe and in the past year, they operated 29,000 flights across their network. However, things haven't been going smoothly for them. Due to high fuel prices, the uncertainty surrounding Brexit and the poor currency exchange rates, this has caused them to make yearly losses. The airline was heavily loss making and no one was prepared to put in extra funding. The average passenger load per flight was just 18 meaning even the small regional planes which were flown by the airline were less than half full. While many of the airline's passengers were business travellers paying high fares, normal passengers like us would rather go for alternative airlines. The situation worsened when they revealed that no signs of funding was coming, and all operations would cease with immediate effect on Sunday the 17th of February 2019. As of today, all of the airline's flights have now been suspended, any passengers due to fly with the airline have to make alternative plans with their own finances. If the airline was booked with a credit card, then you may be able to claim the cost of your flights back. But what will happen to the routes and the slots that the airline had? Will someone else take them? Well, there is a possibility if another regional airline sees any benefit from it. For example, a route from Bristol to Dusseldorf connecting the two big cities may prove appealing to other carriers. But routes to Brussels may be seen as unappealing given that UK's departure from the European Union. But what's causing airlines these days to fail like falling flies, especially in 2018? Well, one of the reasons is due to the winter period. Due to airlines having high fixed costs and currently very low revenues, it's contributed to the collapse of Primera Air, Cobalt, Germania and also Fly BMI. Now, Flybe has been rescued by a cash injection from a consortium involving Virgin Atlantic, Stobart Air and US Hedge Fund, which was bought for just £2 million. It doesn't help that demand across Europe is also extremely weak. With passengers being spoiled for choice and keen to find low fares, airlines with high costs, as regional airlines tend to be, they're severely disappointed as their passengers go to their bigger rivals. Now, it's always an unfortunate case when an airline collapses because the livelihood of the people working there is severely affected. If no investor is found for Fly BMI, then we could officially file the airline to be dead. So captains, do share your thoughts and opinions in the comments below regarding this. If you've ever flown with the airline, then tell us what your experience was like. Thank you so much for watching my friends, like and subscribe as always, and I hope to catch you guys in the next video.